In this video, I'm going to show you how to create multiple dependent drop-down lists here in Google Sheets. In a previous video, I've already shown you how to create two dependent drop-down lists. Today, we're going to create more than two dependent drop-down lists from the same reference list or master list. Let's get started. So we have our example data set right here where we have our order form where we will select from the menu and under the menu, we're going to select some items. So we will be adding drop downs under the menu and the items. And we're going to reference all of this from this menu right here. So our menu would be our headers and the rest would be our items. So let's add our first drop down. You're going to do that by going to data selecting data validation and add a rule on the right. So we already have our cart here as a drop down. And if we click on that, we're going to select drop down from a range. Now we're going to select our range from our reference list, which are our headers. Once selected, click on OK and done. If you go back to the order form, we have our first drop down. And if we click on the arrow down, we have four on our menu, cookies, cake, sandwiches, and drinks, the same here. So adding more drop downs under our menu is quite easy. All we have to do is to drag this down and it will be copied all the way down. So if you click on this, we have the four options. And if you click on this, we have the same options and it's the same all the way down. Now, in order to do the drop down for our items, what we're going to do is to prepare our data. So since we have eight drop downs right here, what I want to do is to create eight references for our eight drop downs on the second column. So we're going to do that with the index and match functions. In the previous video, we used the indirect function, but since we're doing more than just two, we will be using the index and match functions. Let's start by labeling our rows. So we have eight, eight drop downs, and we're going to make eight references or eight data sets for our second drop down. So let's start our index and match formula with an equal sign. Type in index or select it right here. Select your reference, which will be our items, comma. Select all the rows, so just another comma. And for our column, it will be our match function. So type in match or select it right there. For your search key, we will go back to our order form where our first drop down menu is selected. Go back to the reference list, comma, select your range, lock it in, comma, and zero for an exact match. Now we are locking in this references right here because we will be dragging this formula down for the rest of our drop downs. So if you press enter, you get an error. If we go back to our order form and select something from our menu, let's say cake and go back to our reference list, we get the items under cake. Now, since we will be dragging this formula down, we want to put all of these to the side. So we're going to do that by adding transpose in front of our formula close that and enter and there you have it now if we drag this formula down we get again errors because we haven't had anything selected from our menu so if we go to the second drop down and select cookies go back to your reference list we have our cookies so we don't really want to see these errors here what we can do is to add if and a function at the front go ahead and type that if there's an error, leave it blank. We have our formula and drag it down. And there you have it. So now that we have our reference list, let's add in our drop downs for the items. So again, you can add your drop down by right clicking on the cell. Go to drop down at the bottom and the data validations will appear on the right side. So we have drop down on the criteria. Let's select drop down from a range, select our range, go to our reference list. And now we're going to select our data set for the first drop down. We're going to select this one. 
right here for the first drop down. Click on OK and done. If you go to the order form, you have cookie selected and you have all the cookies under the items. Now, if we drag this down, our reference list would still be this one. So what we're going to do is to manually change the validations applied on each dropdown so that each dropdown would depend on each range prepared right here. So for our first one, we have again cake, we have cakes. For the second dropdown, we have sandwiches. It still give us cakes because again, we haven't changed our data range for this one. So what you're going to do is to select this, add a rule on the right, select drop down from a range. And now we're going to select the range on our second row, which is this one. If you click on OK and click on done, it will ask you to apply to all. There are seven other drop downs with the same properties. Do you want to make the changes to all of them? Now we don't want that because again, it will be just a repeat of the first row. So just click on just this instance. Once you've done that, if you go back to your order form, now if you select sandwiches, it will give you sandwiches. If you select cake, it will give you cake. And we're just going to do that for the next couple of rows on the items column. So again, for this one, so this is our third drop down. Select, add a rule, go to drop down from a range, select a range from our reference list, which would be this one, the third row. Click on OK, done, and just this instance. If you go back, let's say we want drinks, then we will get drinks. If we want cookies, we will get cookies. And there you have it. So you can just continue doing that with the rest of your data set. And that's how to create multiple dependent drop down lists from the same master list or reference list. Thanks for watching. If you found this video helpful, do leave a like and subscribe for more helpful videos. See you on the next one.